previously on Metal Gear Solid. A night is wasted if it ends before 6 in the morning. MGS3. MGS1 is re regarded as the best PS1 game. So yeah, yeah, pretty much. If we're done with this, what is next week? That is an excellent thing. I'm going to have to take a look at all the votes the Council of Kumas did and figure that out. I'm going to have to figure that out, aren't I? I'm going to have to figure that out. So, of course, our path is blocked. The real question is, can we get onto that? Uh, I don't think we can. If I cartwheel across it, it's not going to work. Oh no, I get through that way. So let's see if we can do any bonus calls. I know, I'm giving you guys two, three minutes. I only took a minute. What's up, Jack? What's up, Doc? So, what did you guys think of that Solid Snake intro? Did you guys enjoy that cutscene? I personally love that cutscene, and I love that theme. His theme is just fucking awesome. Now that I think about it, it feels kind of fresh. What does? Before, I could always rest assured that I'd see you again. Now it's different. Now That's... it feels like every word we say to each other counts. <laughs> That's great. We could make this into a book and sell it. Want to improve communication in your relationship? Send your man off to fight a war. Jack. <laughs> Rose, you know my life's at stake here. So is mine. Rose? I'm sorry. But I'm really worried, too. I can't help but feel like I'm fighting this battle along with you. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Is the strike still on the reaction channel? It is. It is. Their code of communication is interesting. Did I save the game? What's up, Jack? Uh, for you guys that missed it, at the end of MGS1, you know, with the uh, reveal thing after the credits, of course, Marvel took that from MGS, um, they revealed that the person in charge was Solidus all along. That's Solidus. And then you remember in the Tanker episode, they say, Mr. President. So, Solidus Hang in there. was in charge of MGS1. That was his doing. So you just met Solidus. Jack, is that you? That's why he's so buddy buddy with um, Ocelot. So now you, that's that's the Solidus. See ya. So you can't actually just codec call her and get the full story. You gotta do it slowly. Grip strength two. We're a real man now. So yeah, for you guys that sort of need a little refresh, that's Solidus. But don't worry. The President of the United States will tell us the rest. God damn it! Raiden, what's going on? Raiden! Raiden! Ah, oh, there goes the big boss ranking. Fucking hate that bridge. <laughs> You just fall off on this thing. I hate it. I really want that. Fucking piece of crap. And look, there's fucking bird poop. Oh no. Fuck. 
Raiden, is everything all right? Raiden? Raiden! The most challenging part of the game is this. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> the Harrier was hard. <laughs> ah, that's funny. That's for just wait till the end of the game. Oh, the Harrier is hard. That's adorable. That is freaking adorable. I remember Ector was complaining about the Harrier. Well, he wasn't complaining. It's like, oh my god, so hard. And I'm like, <laughs> just wait till the end. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yes! We dodged it! Get up, you bastard. No, 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 no. Get up. There you go. Get, get up. Get up, get, get. There you go. And I go this way. Oh, what's that? Is that... There's a weapon over there. No, I'm gonna... Stop the fire! I want that PSG thingy. No! Right. Is something wrong? Right. Right. All right. Fuck it. I want that weapon. All right. Let's try to get that weapon. Damn it! No. No. Jack, please answer me. Jack! At this point, we're going to get all the fail screens, like, in one go. Get- I just really want that weapon! Raiden! Damn it! Even he's giving me shit now. I just want the weapon that's sitting over there, but he doesn't want to climb because he's a butty boy. I just- I just want that. You see it? There's, like, a gun over there. I want that gun. Like, let me have the gun. Look, there's even boxes there. You know you can get up there. But that thing starts burning, so, like... Can we, can we, can we just go like this? Yes! Great success! What's that? Oh yeah, I've got a telephone. Use coolant spray to put out fire. Well, thank you, I tried doing that. But it didn't work on that side. AK suppressor. Okay, the fire's out for enough. Grab the AK suppressor. Hell yeah. America. Fuck yeah. We got an AK with the motherfucking suppressor. Yeah, America. Fuck yeah. Freedom is the only way Terrorist, your day is through Cause now you got to answer to America Fuck yeah Jack, do you need to save? Fuck yeah We did it Right in, I just facepalmed into next week <laughs> Well that took like six minutes Hang in there. Jesus, Raiden. America. But, uh oh. Someone's really gotta fix that. This place is a death trap. America. Fuck yeah. Gonna yeah. Are you kidding me? Raiden! Even snake screaming at me at this point. <laughs> oh come on, that it. Fuck off. What the hell happened? Right, right in. Oh my fuck! Please just tell me the AK already has the suppressor on it. Please, 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 it fucking doesn't. And if I load the game up, it wouldn't save it, would it? Yeah! Oh, no. Jack! 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 
Shut up, bros! Oh my god. I want to kill myself. Oh! Oh! I'm not even going to risk getting that bullet. The phone can fuck itself. God damn it, Raiden. This is why everyone hates Raiden. You know that show, Everyone Hates Raymond? There's one called Everyone Hates Raiden. It's called Metal Gear Solid 2. We all hate him. Like, we all hate him. Okay. Can I make sure not to fuck up this one? Let me check where I'm That is fucked up. Safe. This is not a pretty sight. Neither are you, asshole. Hurry up and check the situation. I'll check your situation, you asshole. Well, come here. Gotcha. Yeah, check your fucking situation. Oh god, I better not fuck this up. I'm not doing that again. I am not doing that again. I hate platforming. This is why I don't play Super Mario. I actually adore him, but he's an idiot. Alright, you gotta pick, Frick. You get Raiden or you get Otacon. You can't have both. You can't have both! You can only have one cinnamon roll at a time. One per series. I officially cannot take Raiden seriously and will not hesitate to make fun of him. We make s Okay, I'm gonna save the game now just in case. I can't. I can't. What's up, Jack? Ugh. <laughs> the platforming in that section is a boss fight on its own. I shit you not. This is not gonna look good on the LP. It's not. Hang in there. <laughs> Hang in there, you bitch. Um. Oi, Fion, stay two more minutes. Stay two more minutes. Trust me, stay two minutes. And I can't go inside. Oh, fuck. Return to your positions. Tighten security. You're not gonna wanna miss this. All units exercise extreme caution. You're not gonna wanna miss this, Fion. As soon as this caution's over, you do not wanna miss this. I'm gonna use this opportunity to do some pull ups. As soon as this caution goes, we're good. It should go soon. But you like cinnamon rolls? I shit you not, I was at work this week, and my co-worker was eating a bagel, and I was just like, Where's this radar gonna go? Who do I have to kill to make this go away? Freeze! Fuck you! Oh fuck this, I'm just gonna kill myself. I, I wanna show you guys the meme. I get it! God, even they're screaming at me. I just want to show you guys the meme. See, we're safe. We're good. See, we're good. We're good. We got the suppressor. We got everything. We're good. Should... Should have just done this earlier. Should have just done this earlier. Could have just done this sooner. Huh? <laughs> 
Is my coworker a Kamaeda fan? No. He's not a gamer, he's a football fan. Fucking piss of shit. Oh fucking! Why? Raiden, is everything all right? Right. Right in. I hate hard mode. We need to get past undetected to trigger the meme. And we need to trigger the meme. Last time I do a meme run on hard mode. You can't do a meme run on hard mode. Okay, now we're good. And if I move my ma if I move the thing, I can actually die right here. All right, now we get the meme. It's so worth it, though. It's so worth it. What? I'm going to go in my pants. Nobody's looking, right? <laughs> the enemy has already entered. Fuck off! I'm in P, man. My sympathies. Sneaking missions are called wet works for a reason, after all. Don't worry about it, Jack. It's okay. Rose? That is, as long as you take a shower the second you get back. Do we have a deal? That's not Johnny. Is it? No, it's not. Ryden, you cover the pre- Unfortunately, we can't shoot him. And if you try to shoot him from an angle, he won't be there. You can't take him out, unfortunately. Where's the thing coming from? I need to take it out ASAP. So that's how we get pissed on, huh? Hey, don't kink shame Raiden. Alright? He can be into whatever he wants to be. It's 2019. Oh fuck, that's a lot of things. Oh, I forgot one. You can actually get another meme thing. I'll show you. Uh, you gotta just shoot seagulls. You gotta kill a bunch of seagulls, though. Uh, where are the seagulls at? It, it's basically a thing where they say, Raiden, do you enjoy hurting small defenseless animals? Let's see if I can get that one. I'll, I'll need to get more ammo, though. Jack, is that you? So I need to get a lot more animal uh, ammo, and then I start shooting the birds, and then you get a meme. But I think it's enough memes for now. I'll give you another meme later. I gotta phase out the memes. Hang in there. Oh, thank God, she's not giving me another talk as to why I'm not a good boyfriend. When I get more ammo, then we'll hunt down birds.
Right in, I swear to Jesus. No, 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 no. Monokuma or a tuna. Right in, I swear to a tuna. Oh, wait. We might actually have all that we need. Nah, we only have one stinger. Sorry. If we had 30, we could actually lock onto the birds. I'll do it later. My father had some unfinished business with him. Olga, calm yourself. You will not change the plan because of your personal feelings. Then screw your plan. I've been waiting for this day for two years, and I will send him to the bottom of the ocean, right next to my old man. No, 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 we can't skip that. We can't skip that. You can't skip- What the fuck? I accidentally- I wanted to crouch down. No, we have to go back. We can't skip that. No. When's the last time I saved? Oh yeah, we saved just before that. Thank God. Thank Gachuna. Lord be praised. X is supposed to be crouched down. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see the amount of professionalism we have here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought X would crouch down to give me a better way to do it, but unfortunately it didn't. It skipped it. That's the one thing I don't like. It skips it if you press X. You don't want to skip that. I swore to a tuna. But he has done... But he, he has done... Yeah, you do not... I'm sorry. Sorry! Did I sit? Yes! I'm not allowed to skip. That's a fail on my part. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Lucky we saved here. This is why I always save. Keep saving, keep saving, keep saving. Always save regularly, like Monami says. I PSG one bullets are full. Yeah, but this is the most ineffective way to kill seagulls. We can actually do it when we come back. I'll save up all my ammo. I'll save up all my ammo. Your veteran status is getting weaker. <laughs> Don't jinx no, it! This isn't happening. Jack, you have to answer me. Jack! Jack! Don't fucking jinx it, man! I'm literally getting fucked here at this point. Guys, don't jinx this game. Don't jinx it. Once we go down the jinx route, we're fucked. It's alright, Elaine. If you need to sleep, the replay will be on. I'll leave it up for you. I'll leave it up for you. We've got about four or five hours to go, so if you need to sleep, the replay will be up. Where are the things? Look, they feel so bad, they left the things. See, they didn't spawn. They're like, this guy's struggling. We're not even going to put the things there anymore. They, they don't even spawn the enemies anymore. It's like, look, this guy's obviously struggling. No sentries. Just, just make it past the holes. Look how nice they are. If you fail five times, they're just like, fuck the sentries. You don't need them. You suck at this. Good night, Elaine. He's here. In shell one. 
My father had some unfinished business with him. Olga, calm yourself. It's funny that you mentioned swimming. Change the plan because of your personal feelings. Then screw your plan. I've been waiting for this day for two years, and I will send him to the bottom of the ocean, right next to my old man. The launch comes first. Damn it. Where is Ocelot? Not here. I don't trust him. Don't talk that way about one of your own. He's not one of my own. He left my father to die, remember? Olga, we'll talk later. We need to get started on the final checks for the unit. All right. I'm headed back there. Platforming is clearly not my strong point. Shell one is down. What about the chopper? The cam off is out of action. Take the oil fence from Strut L. I'll tell my men to start pulling out. Not yet. Their retrieval comes last. The intruder's still at large. Snake. What about the other man? He's got luck on his side, certainly. Hmm. He survived that explosion. Exco, you missed the, the memes. Confirmation is in one hour. Keep the president alive until then. I know. No one gets in here. Turn the currents on. Of course. You missed the meme, Zekto. You missed getting peed on. You missed Johnny on the toilet. You missed me failing platforming for 20 minutes. High voltage currents on. The door stays shut unless the president manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room. And it's no job for bare hands. And I hate right. this in hard mode. He Come runs. Back immediately. One more thing. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. Of course. That was part of the agreement. You've been watching we since what was? We living for ourselves after this. If there's anyone who wants to stay here, I want you to take good care of them. Gladly. Gerlukovich soldiers are the cream of the crop. It's time they went free. What happened to rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. It's your life. Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again, one last time. Don't try anything on us. The feeling is mutual. I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything all right? No sign of flooding, but I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. Any suggestions? Remember the Shadow Moses VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Then target the circuit panel. Got it. Right, but make sure you don't hit the president. The president is wired with nanomachines. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built-in radio shield. So that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. Understood. Locate a remote control missile launcher first. The bad part about hard mode is that the president actually runs into the thing and sometimes he's actually sleeping in front of it. Yeah, he's sleeping in this one. So, I gotta wake him up first without killing him. It's gonna suck. Jack, is that you? Por que no los dos? But everyone really likes Solidus. They really like it. One thing you guys might admit. You know, that really looks good on you. You think so? Yeah. Everything looks good on you, Jack. It'd be nice if you were this stylish all the time. It's too much of a hassle. Well, at least you could care a little bit more about how you look. You care enough for both of us. Yeah, that's true. But I want to be beautiful. You want people to compliment you? Yeah, especially you. Me? Yes. Is that strange? 
Not at all. Really? Well then, next time be sure to compliment me. You don't comp- Oh my god! Fuck, I'm dealing with Shuichi all over again. Uh, you guys might like this. I'll take the, um... It will get destroyed. There's action figures, there's games. Let's do the normal one. Watch this. It will get destroyed. See, it burns up. Right, that floor is charged with high voltage currents. I don't recommend you try crossing it. Guide a remote. It's pr it's pretty funny. That's a thing. Do they have guards here? I'm not sure anymore. I'm gonna bitch slap you, Raiden. So yeah, in hard mode, you have to use different ones. It's kind of annoying. Ecto, your one was really simple. This one's gonna be annoying as shit. Is there any guards? Thank God. Oh, fuck. Fuck the guards, mate. Fuck the guards. Oh, yeah. So in some of the modes, oh fuck, we might have to use this one. I don't know which one I have to use. Or sometimes you have to blow up a certain panel in order to use a different one. It, it gets really confusing in different modes. Are there guards here? I thought the cardboard was supposed to be the most impenetrable triple armor there is. No, it does not surpass Metal Gear, not yet. Yeah, he's sleeping, see? He's fucking sleeping. He's fucking sleeping in front of the thing! Fucking idiot. Now here comes my least favorite part, the underwater level. You know, it's in like Tomb Raider on PlayStation, if you watched Ali G in the house. The guy's sleeping in front of the thing I need to blow up. Bloody Americans. He doesn't need slapping, he needs to be gently patted on the head and told he's an idiot sandwich. <laughs> Frick! I would be scared if you did that to me. It's like, you're an idiot sandwich. What the fuck? What's up, Jack? I don't know whether to be enraged or ashamed. <laughs> you're super sad now? Fair enough. Right, I'm saving because I might die here. Hang in there. Go home, Rose. Go home. Oh, sunshine, lollipops, and rainbow drops. You're like MGS3, Freak. You'll love it. We don't have um, elevators, but we do have ladders. Oh, fuck. Here comes the fun part. Oh, boy. How do I swim? And you're literally Kirk, five foot. B1 is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. I'm fine with swimming. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left stick. Up will take you up, down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. The O2 gauge will You can see they added the, that part in. Underwater. It's a different voice. They the added it in. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. They added that part in because they didn't add it in the original and people were like, how the fuck do I swim? Literally, that happened. They didn't add those instructions in and people kept drowning. This part- People got stuck at this part and couldn't continue. Do you know how fucking stupid that is? The only real problem is I don't actually know where to go. I just did a circle, didn't I? As you can see, fun times. <sighs> I'm 
course there's nothing here. I used to have this place memorized back in the day. Unfortunately, I don't anymore. And in easier modes, you actually find it a lot quicker. Whereas in the harder modes, it's not that easy to find. Ooh, a model. Um, it's not that easy to find the Nikita. In the easy mode, it's in like the first pocket of air. In the hard mode, you gotta go all the way into one of these little rooms. And then there's landmines. Is it here? It's not here. So, um, really fun. You can tell everyone loved this part of the game. <laughs> Even Fab's like, he's like, fuck me. You could just tell it's, oh, fuck the landmines. And if you hit one, your oxygen just goes to shit. Of course, it's not here either. Everyone's favorite part of the game. Oh, there it is. Fuck off. And there was an action figure there, if you saw it. You have the remote con- I skipped that one, because fuck him. Like, he tells me I have the items. Like, oh, really? I, I, I thought I got a ration. Sort of thing. And this is still not the most annoying swimming part of the game. It gets even more annoying. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbow drops. You, you want to know what's the real kicker? He actually had the mask with unlimited oxygen and he threw it away. Mr. President. El Presidente. I think we're going to have to go up here and do it. I'll save the game. Nothing but great memories. PTSD, man. Jack, PTSD. Is that you? Who else would it be? This is why you don't want to date someone you work with. You know why? Because you're going to spend so much time with them. Never work with your partner. Or never create a partner at work. Or d just don't live with them. Because you spend like 40, 50 hours a week at work. Spend the rest of your time. You're basically fucked. Alright, here we go. Ah. Ah. Well, that was the wrong way, wasn't it? I'm running out of fuel. Did he wake up? He needs to wake up. If he doesn't... Oh, fuck, I'm in the wrong way again. If he doesn't wake up, so I gotta get it right. I hate hard mode. Oh, fuck, no, wrong way. Fuck hard mode. It's hard for a reason, isn't it? My veteran status? Man, I haven't played this game in years. Forget about the veteran status. Let's just try to do it. Oh, fuck, go away. What is it? Don't run into it, you fucking dickhead. Hmm. <laughs> Now imagine whacking someone over the head with this. Look at this. I feel like Lady from uh, DMC3. Imagine getting clubbed over the head with it, man. You'd get brain damage. Now I'm going to save this part in case someone wants to relive it. Jack, do you need to save? Alright guys, prepare yourselves. Plot dump incoming. No, seriously, if you got whacked over the head with that, you'd get brain damage. Talk to you soon, Jack. Do you know how heavy one of those things is? That's like 26 kilograms. You think a baseball bat hurts? Forget the baseball bat. Watch this. Watch this. 
President Johnson. Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you... Hmm. What the... You're a man? Hmm. Well, who are you? Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> the President of the United States grabbed him Switch by the pussy. Switch over to nanocommunication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. And this is set in 2014 or 17, I think. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics. The military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. No. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Huh. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history. But my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? Picture a massive political vacuum a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. 
I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle. Panic, civil war, chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses! That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocelot, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. I thought he resigned. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him, bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovic's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? The completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire Big Shell facility is the new Metal Gear. What'd you say? No, I'm quite serious. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? That's right. Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced? The Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-metal gears are guarding a metal gear. Ironic, isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. 
What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No. You're not seeing the full picture. Hmm? Arsenal gear is more than just a military tool. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. Hmm. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. In short, the Arsenal system is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriots' trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks, but Solidus preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community, is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen, there isn't much time. The football served as the key for activating Arsenal gear. I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. Well, this was in this 2000. This is card four. It'll give you access all the way to Emma's location. 19 give years this ago. tour when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, shell one core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? That's right, modeled after Foxdy. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Now, kill me. What the? There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! Uh, do it! That's her role! Uh, oh! No! Do it! That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or is it ex-president? The president! Why did you... Alas, my finger must have slipped. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will. There is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. What are you... Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order as your commander-in-chief. I'm counting on you. Ah. Uh...
This is back in 2000, 2001. Before September 11, Facebook, before social media, before everything. And they were talking about controlling digital information. Why do you think there's so many laws trying to be passed to censor the internet? I'm just going to put it that way. Maybe it's not about censoring the content. Maybe it's about controlling the context. Quick two minute break and then we continue. I'm just saying. What is news if you don't know what's real and what's fake? If all the sources of information you have are controlled, how do you know if it's true or not? You don't have to brainwash people if, you, if they can't think for themselves. And the word Illuminati comes from illumination, the illuminated ones. It was an order back in the dark ages of people that were very intelligent. They aspired to understand physics and science while everyone else believed in religion. So essentially, Illuminati just stands for people that know more than others or people that know the truth. They are illuminated to the truth, whereas the rest of the world lives in darkness because they don't know the truth. And you guys thought this was a plot dump? Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Okay, Kuma's got his energy drinks. He's going to need them for the next few bosses that are coming up. My money is on seven for the whole segment. Sorry, where are we? Very interesting perspective on this part of the game. It's story message. Now I want to be in the Illuminati. Oh boy, place your bets on how many times Kuma dies in the next part. Hey, Hector, remember when I told you you're going to get three and I'm going to get 12? I think I might have to get 15. I'm worried about that. That's what these are for. If you're f but yeah, if you guys want to talk about Illuminati and stuff like that, I'm game. But first, you got to get through the prerequisite. you got to finish MGS 1, 2, 3, 4. You don't need 5, but you might need Peace Walker. And then we can talk about the Illuminati. But until you get there, you know what I mean? Let's, let's get to the same thought process. And then we can discuss. Alright, let me restart the record. You know, I'll do it at the four hour mark. Let us continue.